Hearts of Iron 4. We all know this game is known for its realism. Anyway, today we're going to play Germany as historically as possible. We're going to use Germany's real life tactics, but we're going to play with historical AI off. So basically, we're playing non-historical 100% historically. So obviously, we're going to start with the Rhineland. Already, we have some interesting things occurring. Jimma, Jim more like Jamarcus. Uh, okay, that wasn't funny. The United Kingdom are dominating the Dutch trade negotiations? Well, guess what, British people? We literally don't care. So basically, despite whatever crazy things happen, we're still going to try to invade France and the UK, but if they want to ally it with us, that's all right, because we all know Germany's main goal was to target the East. Wait, who's this guy? He's not Franco. Oh, wait, non-historical. Huh? Well, 12 civs in total with these two focuses. That is absurd. I'm really hoping my boy Hirohito comes out on top. Oh, there's Franco. He finally came back. Okay, we're going full Blitzkrieg now. Hans Guderian, Anschluss time. You know what? This historical Germany gameplay is bringing back some good memories. I remember when I was a brand new Hearts of Iron 4 player, Germany was like the only country I would play. No. Oh, shit. I was being not smart. I was getting carried away. I, I was getting carried away. Guys, I gotta say, it's not looking good for the nationalists right now. Bro, these tanks are so OP. We got 75% modifier. We gotta take Valencia, man. I cannot lose these beautiful, beautiful tanks. Oh, they got no fuel. <laughs> They're moving so slow. They're moving slower than my turtle. Just kidding. I don't have a pet turtle. Honestly, now that I think about it, Germany is way more OP than in real life. Because, like, in real life, they won because the French were just, well, French. I gotta save my boy Franco. We can't let him down. Anything for you, Franco? Anything for you? Look at this. Look at this. Boom. And circle. Two divisions. Gone. Gone. Oh, my goodness. Unplanned offensive. Could you just, like, plan your offensives? Yeah, you guys keep fighting yourselves, okay? That will uh, make things a little bit easier. It's all or nothing now. It's all or nothing. There's Portuguese helping them. What? Damn Portuguese interfering with our business. No, we're going to lose our precious tank. Please, no. Bro, Franco is selling. What? Spain, I expect better from you. You know what? Hey, you know what? This isn't even your fault, Heinz. Heinz Guderian. It's not even your fault, okay? It's literally Franco's fault. It's like, his army is trash. Like, what is this? There's no troops on his front. You know what, Franco? You deserve to lose to the communist and the carlist and this guy, okay? You deserve the L. No, we lost one of our veteran tanks. <gasps> we get to keep this one at least. Thank goodness. You know, this is why I wish Hearts of Iron had a recall volunteer feature because I, uh... I don't want to be here anymore. I would like an exit, please. Well, we have our one sad, lonely tank. His buddy just got deleted. All because of Franco. This poor, lonely tank can't pull off any encirclements now. He's all by himself. Damn, this guy might actually take Barcelona all by himself. He's avenging the death of his friend. No, what, you know what? That's right. Force attack. That's right. All right, time to demand the Sudeten land. Let's see if Neville Chamberlain is going to be a bitch like in real life or if he's going to stand up for the Czechs. Who knows? This is non-historical after all. This is the greatest comeback of all time. The Nationalists actually have decent have a decent army now. Yeah, I actually thought we were done for, but nah, Franco is redeeming himself. You know what, guys? I'd much rather be fighting Joseph Stalin than Ivan Smirnov, because, like, something about Stalin, his charisma, his looks are just far superior to this guy. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We are the victors of the Spanish Civil War. Ooh, look who is to my right. Filthy peasants. What the frick? Czechoslovakia? They rejected all our demands, and they practically dared us to declare war. Bro, check Czechoslovakia, this guy has some balls this game, okay? He has some balls, like, that's bold, man, that's bold. Just because of that, I'm tempted to declare war, but, ooh, you know what? I am going to declare war because Czechoslovakia is not guaranteed right now. Obviously, we're going to put some troops on our border just in case. Blitzkrieg right through Brno, whatever you call that city. Blitzkrieg right through there, and then they're done. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Boom, we take Brno. Got their first big city, hopefully quick. We're gonna cut, we're gonna cut Czechoslovakia in half. Light work. Straight to Prague now, straight to Prague. No, why is it taking so long? Because, it, well, okay, there's a storm. Maybe Zeus, Zeus is fight, trying to fight against the Germans, you know? He's trying to stop us, but even Zeus can't stop us. Making sure we are uh, keeping casualties low. And look, we've already done a decent job. Only 9K and uh, 120K for them, yikes. Well, obviously, we're gonna take the Sudetenland, duh. And of course, we're gonna need some war reparations. 
there we go we got our puppet german czechoslovakia and just to humiliate humiliate the leader of czechoslovakia even more for being so disrespectful and not surrendering we banished him to this territory right here he can stay in a little cabin thinking of the great nation he used to rule oh shit i just made a division <laughs> oh no. i accidentally oh fuck me guys so basically i just used all of my army experience to make a medium tank division but i accidentally deleted our light tank template uh well we won't have any light tanks for a minute bruv i literally forgot to click duplicate bruh yeah you know what curse them curse them you know i think cursing them is a little too polite more like them wait i didn't mean it like that yeah lithuania of course they're folding they saw what happened to czechoslovakia and how this guy got banished into the mountains yo mexico versus the uk that's bold mexico that is bold you know what oswald let's be besties we both got good stashes too right he's got a pretty nice stash so does this guy danzig or war ah oh, yes mussolini mussolini's you're welcome anytime to join the axis but they're not even guaranteed by anyone yeah this is light work well then we should be home in a matter of weeks the only thing i'm hoping that doesn't happen is that uh they join the common term because that would not be ideal so we're gonna have a pincer a pincer panzer group one will go to north of loads okay panzer group two is gonna do the same thing and go south and then boom encirclement and of course we got a paratrooper army Ooh, uh uh we might be fighting the soviets a little earlier than expected uh that was not the plan guess we're fighting the soviets guys uh well the good thing is they're still weak we have like double their industry i mean come on dude we can't look to this guy who's like looks like a nerd emoji we can't lose them so far our invasion it's only been six days and well we're about to win yeah 600 casualties Twenty-three thousand for them oh, i'm hoping dude the soviet army is gonna show up soon though i want to we got to take crack out before the soviets pull up oh the first soviets are pulling up damn 6k to 120k impressive and that only took 11 days hey you know what good job good job i'm gonna give myself a little pat on the back you know because i'm just so good at this video game just kidding i kind of suck but ivan 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 smirnov you're done for Yo, Mussolini just gave me these expeditionary divisions. What what a homie Mussolini is, honestly. Like, he has a good heart, you know? Well, that's if we put aside all the atrocities, of course. El Poland. You know, I never really I never really do these demands from the SS, but we'll try it today. So, Himmler, you've been promoted. Yo, Greece is fighting us now. The offensive is now commencing. We're gonna try to secure Kiev in the south first and take care of this uh take some of that oil for ourselves. Oh, Heinz. Oh, I hope you're okay. Heinz, if you make it out alive, I'll buy you some Heinz mustard. I'm starting to think his, uh, Ivan's army isn't too good. Damn, Ivan, you messed up big time. You should have waited a few years. Damn, dude, the supplies are shit, though. The Russian roads are just, like, they probably got so many potholes in them. Uh, Baltic Sea? Oh, no, the Greeks are invading my, my Estonian besties. Wait, we should probably help out. Eh, yeah. who do we send over? Here, we'll send these guys over. Go help Estonia. Bruh, Yugoslavia isn't giving Slovenia to us? Damn, my convoys. My convoys. My convoys. My precious convoys. All right, Eric. Go save my convoys. Let's see. Look, Eric's just going to destroy those subs. Yeah. Filthy Soviet subs. Get away from my convoys. My precious oil. Hey, man, we're paying good money for that oil, okay? We're giving America 28 civs. You know, I think uh, I think we'll uh, call it there. I think we have enough reserves to hold us through at least a year and a half. Bruh. Uh, they already took 200,000 casualties. Oh, you, you see what I'm seeing, right? I, I hope you guys see what I'm seeing. I see a nice encirclement. All right, then. Boom. Just like that. Bro, America just embargoed us. Why? What? We need that oil, though. This is actually emergency. There is chaos. Chaos in the Reichstag. No one knows what to do now. Uh, so, all right, we have one solution. We got to get to the Caucasus by the end of next year. Or, uh... Or our army will uh be out of field completely. Yeah, we kind of need to get that oil. I'm not trying to resort to horses, you know. All right, time for a general offensive with our infantry. Going like that. Boom. Oh, encirclement complete. All right, clean it up. Clean it up. Like, at this point, it's just free. We're just taking our broom, and we're just sweeping, you know? We're sweeping up the enemies. Like, this is what Hitler wished could have happened. He wished he could just walk through all of, all of Europe. 
This honestly might be a Guinness World Record, the easiest Soviet campaign of all time. Guys, don't worry though. Hey, you know what? I will be honest. This probably, this probably is kind of lame to watch, all right? So I'm gonna defeat the Soviets, and then I'm gonna go, we're gonna, we're gonna fight some real wars. Like, I'm gonna try to invade America later on to spice things up, all right? Watch the end of the video, though, if you wanna see that, all right? I'm gonna at least try to invade America. I don't know how well it's gonna go, but we're gonna try. So guys, I have a question for you all. I'm gonna try to start doing this. Just a daily question, you let me know in the comments below. What is, what is your favorite pet? Cats or dogs? I just wanna get an idea of what the Hoi4, Hoi4 community thinks of, uh, thinks of superior animal is i won't i won't say my opinion yet maybe i'll let you guys know in the comments below what i think so if you want to know if i like cats or dogs more you're gonna have to leave a comment below and you're gonna have to hope i respond you know yeah anyway another encirclement boom and then look we're gonna go like this we're gonna go like this easiest encirclement of all time right here oh what the fuck these guys were getting carried away i will say yeah take it easier next time guys oh uh, no Bro, these Greeks are abusing my Estonian buddies. Like, what? The Greeks are just like, oh my goodness. Damn, this ultimate of Jimma. Jimma is stabbing poor Mussolini in the back. <laughs> Yo, Mussolini, I got you. I got you. <coughs> Damn, the Jimmanese are actually such traitors. Oh, oil, oil, oh, oh, oil. <laughs> delicious okay i was cringe but we did it though we secured the black gold as it is referred to sometimes beautiful what the bro sultan of jenna jimma is literally okay unacceptable he will be met with the wrath of the Wehrmacht. all right boom i don't know who this guy thinks he is this abba jofir guy okay i don't even know who he thinks he is but that is enough okay i thought you were funny at first but now i know who you really are because you backstabbed mussolini and now you're doing this but more Jimenez people oh my goodness bro if we don't got a lot of trucks you know what let's secure our flanks i can't be i can't be losing all my takes to the russians even though moscow has one division it's tempting but nah flank secure the flanks first damn mexico is bold this game like they are just attacking everyone bruh i think this guy may have drinking a little too much tequila you know he's making some poor choices okay he's literally taking on the world oh el salvador yeah we don't need you guys bro this guy is trying to escape us J just accept your defeat sir okay Ooh, unitary canada <laughs> they're seeking new allies that have the capacity to aid their cause as opposed to the weak democracies yeah, of course we are very very powerful yes mm, an access route to this country right here i wouldn't mind that our new bestie adrian arcand that guy is scary though he kind of looks like a zombie Brrr. he's literally half alive he's so pale whatever hey we'll take it the british are justifying against us what but i thought oswald mosley was a champion of peace that is cap apparently uh that's all right i dare you to fight us you know what i dare you yeah this guy's just been wandering in the snow lost bro our soldiers though i don't get it how do you lose that many guns like do you just drop them and you don't know what to do with them like and there you have it ladies and gentlemen we have finally taken moscow or should i say gentlemen because i've noticed in my analytics i have a i have like one female viewer so oh bulgaria of course look how nice we are we gave bulgaria thrace and central macedonia bruh 78k in the soviet army yeah ivan take that now we just put everything at five speed and we just sit back and we relax all right the front is literally empty this might be the quickest i've ever defeated the ussr in my hearts of iron 4 career into my 2000 hours of playing this game i've never had an easier ussr run but to make things a little more difficult we're gonna take over western europe but since we have the help we have canada they're gonna be our little landing ground we are gonna try to invade the u.s of a's okay so have we won yet uh one more victory point wait so we're at war with latvia now that's just amazing come on where's the last victory oh victory point yeah we take this one and it's over that's got to be ggs right fantastic well obviously we're gonna take a uh, danzig of course yeah the italians gonna have a little bit of land why not you know what we're gonna donate some land to estonia right here greater estonia because they were so kind in helping us in our world takeover journey there you go estonia Oh, that map is so border gory. I won't lie. It's actually good, except for Italy, bro. Ruined everything. Like, uh, Like, the Eastern Europe part's actually good. We got Ukraine. We got Belarus, you know? But then Italy, Mussolini, had to... Oh, my goodness. I want to barf.
The Axis dominates all of Europe now, except Yugoslavia and Moldova. So we're going to take care of Moldova and Yugoslavia, and then we will fall west and defeat them damn Frenchies. And then once Paris is captured, baguettes will be banned. Okay, that's a little too harsh. They will just be discouraged from being consumed. All right, you go. You go, you go, Yugoslavia. All right, Blitzkrieg again. I want this war done in like five days, all right? Bruh, Hungary... Why is Hungary not joining? Uh... Oh, Hungary, can you join me, please? Bruh, Hungary. There we go, Romania's joining, and I expect you to join any minute now, Hungary, so we can launch our attack into, uh, into Belgrade. You know, we'll launch our attack through Romania, it's fine. We'll do it through Romania. There we go, win in three days, please. Quick, I expect a victory in a timely manner. See, this is the speed I expect us to win at, all right? Oh, damn, they're marching through Germany. I'm hoping we can win, like, really quick, so, uh, we don't lose too many cities, because that's kind of embarrassing being occupied by yugoslavia all right yugoslavia is dealt with here let's prep let's prep our western border for our 1941 french offensive build some airports of course and look at this though so we are gonna do the real life german strategy we're gonna blitzkrieg through the ardennes but since the supplies is trash there we're gonna need to build a, a few supply hubs we're gonna build three fresh supply hubs we'll be ready right in time for our offensive oh yeah we gotta take we gotta take istanbul Oh, what? We've been embargoed by Malaysia? What did we do to you guys? And South Africa. Like, come on. Unacceptable. Ooh, look at this, guys. We got we got our new fighter jet. Highest tech. Most perfect German engineering. All right. Look at this. I'm stacking divisions. And our supply is perfect right here. Built three beautiful supply hubs. And we could actually add way more divisions, too. You know what? I'm creating a second, a second tank army. This one will be led by Mr. Erwin Rommel, all right? Mr. Erwin. Boom, right through the Ardennes too, all right? Oh, this guy? Yeah, let's declare war on this guy real quick. Like Moldova? Like, I don't even know. That's just border go right there. They can be part of Romania. They joined the mutual assistance block. Wait, are we at war with Japan now? Wait, no, I killed Moldova so we don't have to fight them in the war. No, it took too long. Uh, I think we're at war with Japan now. Yo, shang -Chi, you want to join? Hey, anyone's welcome. Ooh, we might lose the Far East. Uh, hopefully not. I think we're safe, though, because we literally, like, our protection from the Japanese is just Siberia. All right, then. Granted, the Granded Invasion is ready. All right, then. Here goes nothing, men. March forward right through the Ardennes. Look at this. We got four medium tanks, like, 19 light tanks, and 13 motorized. This is Blitzkrieg right here. Oh, shit. I should have waited another month. I didn't realize it was still snowy. Bro, they're leaving the Maginot line open. We gotta push. All right, full speed offensive, full speed ahead. I'm gonna put the four speed, and we're just gonna sit back, relax, and our offensive will take place. You see, look, we're making a. Hey, this game is so easy. That's why I chose to start the invasion with still snowy Blitzkrieg in the snow, you know? Because normal Blitzkrieg would just be too easy. See if the German tanks can do Blitzkrieg in the snow. Oh, we did it. We got the breakthrough. Go. We got to be quick, though. We got to be quick. Yep, Paris. Gone. Next up, Calais. Calais's gone, too. Ooh. Nah, you see, look. Look, I need to invade Britain because, well, I want to steal their fleet, you know? I want that fleet for myself. Oh, shit. We're at war with America. Oh, shit. Bro, poor Mussolini, bro. Those four troops are stuck in the mountains. Come, bro, Mussolini, look how many... You literally have... Let's see how many troops he has. You have one million troops and you have, like, three divisions on that front line. That's sad. That's sad. Bro, Mussolini, it's honestly not even his fault. Like, he's not a general. He just needs to hire better generals, you know? He is a lion tamer, though. So, I do expect better from the Tamer of Lions. Damn, Mexico's declared war on America. Wait, can we invite them to our faction? Yes, sir. Bruh, they declared war on America and half their country has no troops on it. What are you thinking, Mexico? 85k troops and they declared war on America. All right, Frenchies have been dealt with. Now, do we ally with the Brits or do we invade them? That is the real question we have now. You know what? I'm going to be besties with the British. You are in luck. But yeah, if he, they don't join our war. Okay, good. They joined our war. So basically, because there's like no supply here, our only option if we want to invade America is naval invasion see america's still weak but america they can pump out divisions all right like we got to defeat them now before they become overpowered because they're just going to keep racking up civs oh oh i don't want to disengage do not fight the american fleet right now 
I swear to God, if you guys all die before we get naval support, no! Oh, thank, thank God. Thank goodness. Go repair. I need you guys for my naval invasion later. Do not die on me. Because basically, we're gonna land on America. Our whole fleet will probably die. But it's a sacrifice we're willing to make. Like, our whole fleet's just kind of gonna kamikaze itself into the American coast, you know? Where's the British Navy? Like, the only reason I'm out allied with you guys is because you have the Royal Navy. So, like, where is it? Your fleet's in the Mediterranean? What's the point of that? Here, we'll send everyone from Rommel to deal with this mess in Africa. Bro, do not lose Quebec. Like, please, that's our only port. So look, I'm gonna invade with my tanks through Quebec. We're gonna take back Montreal and we're gonna meet up at Boston and we're gonna encircle the American Northeast and we can go from there with our offensive. And it'll be nice and easy. Oh, the British fleet is taking on the Americans. That's what I wanna see. Fight, 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 fight. Okay, good job. Good job, Oswald Mosley. Good job, bruv. The, my fellow mustached partner, okay? I'm starting to think though, Oswald's kinda emo though. Like, he's wearing all black. All right, mates, are we ready? Are we ready, soldiers? Our, our naval invasion is going. And now we also gotta launch our motorized spearhead too. And they will meet in Boston together. See, America, they thought they thought they were invincible. It's chilling an ocean away. But they have their big ass navy and they're not even defending. Wait, they're not even defending us or intercepting us with their navy. Yeah, American planners uh aren't the best. Well, more like AI, I guess. A decent player playing the USA would uh not let this slide. Alright, so basically we're just gonna try to like invade everything as quick as possible. I'm drawing one big ass line. Go! Here, look, I wanna just take over the whole East Coast, you know? Just run down the East Coast of America, take all the big cities. Yeah, go right there and just go from here to Florida, you know? Bro, America in Hoi 4 might is one of the worst countries when it comes to AI. Like, Germany, they're pretty good. Their AI is pretty good, honestly, because they got like 8 billion divisions. But America, nah, their AI is garbage. Oh, DC, DC, I want DC. Yo, we're gonna burn the White House again, just like the Brits did in 1812. You see, once we invade America, we're gonna put them on an all-German diet of sausage and beer. And they'll be losing weight in no time. They'll be just- the pounds will be dropping. Like, the second they stop eating McDonald's for every meal, they're just gonna become so healthy. Oh, Rommel clutched up in Africa. Alright, we're gonna- we're gonna relocate him to America now. Alright, off you go, Rommel. He's gonna go to California and chill at the beach. Yeah, guys, I think we're uh, basically guaranteed a W at this point. I'm just letting the battle plans do their work. So I'm going to call the video here. But yeah, we played we played Hoi 4 historically with non-historical. OK, and well, what can we what do we learn? Well, we learned that Germany in Hearts of Iron 4 is extremely overpowered. That is right. We basically control every part of the land, like every part of the world that matters, except for like Japan and some of America. But yeah. All right, let's see how many victory points we got though. I have no idea, but if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and have a great rest of your day.